The future of transportation lies in sustainable and energy efficient solutions and EVs are at the forefront of this revolution. One key concern of EV transition is the charging infrastructure. The speed at which electric vehicles can be recharged so that driving ranges can be increased in a short span of time. Fast charging involves large power supply which means a huge amount of current is passed through the cell. This large current passage causes heat generation due to resistance and other internal losses. As the temperature increases, the thermal gradient also increases. The battery is expected to have an optimum temperature considering its safety and smooth functioning. And thermal gradient in the battery is supposed to be a minimum for its longer life. And hence, thermal management becomes a necessity. Mathox provides tools to simulate and analyze this thermal gradient which helps in better designing the batteries. We are going to look into reduced order modeling for battery thermal analysis. Battery degradation and temperature have an exponential relationship. The major impact of temperature gradient inside the cell include inhomogeneous current, uneven aging, accelerated degradation, localized heating and uncertain temperature monitoring. I will now demonstrate the temperature gradient on a cell. You are looking at a pouch cell. The cooling plate attached at the bottom of the cell passes a coolant to maintain optimum temperature in the cell. Once the current passes, gradually you can observe the temperature gradient forming across the cell. Analysis of this thermal gradient is where MathWorks comes in. MATLAB brings together its two distinct capabilities, system level simulation and finite element analysis to analyze the temperature of the cell. We are using finite element analysis from our PDE toolbox to get the reduced order model of the battery thermal behavior and pass it for system level simulation using Simscape for further analysis. Let's see how this works. For the demo purpose, I am using data from research paper reduced order models for thermal analysis to get the thermal equation of the system. The link to the paper would be provided in the description. We are starting with a partial differential equation which governs the thermal behavior of the system. Here, the battery. We use the finite element modeling from the PDE toolbox to generate the system that solves the equation. Then, we can write it in model form so that a function can reduce it such that it is of the order that is adequate for its utilization for system level simulation. The finite element modeling workflow includes creation of geometry, assignment of material properties, mesh creation, and solving and reducing the equation. Hence, equation produced by the FEA tool takes several physical and chemical properties into consideration. We then pass this reduced order model from the PDE toolbox to Simscape for system level simulation and then find the temperature distribution across the cell. You can now see the high level Simscape model on the left hand side of the screen. The individual component in the model like battery and charger has several parameters from thermal and electrical domains that you can experiment upon. On the right hand side you can find different plots for the result of the simulation. Temperature against time for temperature at top and bottom of the cell. Maximum temperature difference in the cell with time are among the important findings from this simulation. You can use these results for experimental validation, improving geometrical description, adding physical cooling plates, electrochemical modeling and scaling up a pack. You can explore our tools such as PDE Toolbox, Simscape Electrical, Simscape Battery. Battery Modeling and Algorithm Development is a course that would help you get started with the workflow. Thank you for your time. Thanks for watching.